flavors everywhere in there. There's so many flavors. That beer glaze that we made, we've got the natural taste of the steak is still there. It is just so tender. I gotta show you guys how to make this. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. I think you're really gonna dig this steak. To start this delicious ribeye, I got the Cuisinart already turned up. It's on medium heat. I'm gonna throw down some butter here in a bit, but the steak is at room temperature. I've got an onion, some mushroom. So I'm gonna start with the onion and just kind of slice it up. Now how much onion you want with this steak is up to you. I personally like a lot. We've got a whole cube of butter but I'm just gonna cut it into pieces here because I wanna take some of this, throw it down on the Cuisinart and let it melt down so we can throw our steak on it. We got our three pieces of butter there. Just let it melt down. Now I know what you're thinking, you're going, dude, you're gonna scorch your butter. Not really, because the heat on the Cuisinart right now is at about medium. We're gonna take our ribeye, put it on like that. And then we're gonna put some Uncle Steve's Lucky Shake. Now if you don't have any Uncle Steve's Shake, that's fine. Use salt, pepper, garlic, onion. That'd be just fine. So one of the reasons why I had that extra butter is because I wanna just take those onions, cook it up with it. Same with the mushrooms. Just get it all in there. I'm gonna add a little more butter on the top. The aroma with this is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna cap this for a few minutes. We'll check it out. We're sitting at about three minutes. I'm just gonna flip the steak, take a look at the bottom. Yeah, it looks great. I'm gonna add some more butter for the top. Our onions and mushrooms are coming along really nicely. Spread that butter around the top. All right, we're gonna cap it again. We're sitting at about another two minutes, and I think it's time to check the temperature on the steak. Not too bad. That's about perfect. Heck yeah. We're gonna stir up the onions and mushrooms a little bit. Take our steak off. That looks awesome, by the way. We're gonna let it rest. At this point, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic to this. Let that garlic just infuse with the onions and mushrooms. Now here's the key to the whole thing. I wanna be able to smell that garlic. Once it opens up, then it's time to add the last ingredient. All right, the garlic just opened up. We're gonna add some Patty Joe beer, YouTube's finest beer. We're gonna use that as our glaze. You use whatever beer you want. You don't need a lot. You got the natural ingredients of the mushrooms, the onions with that steak, then you add the butter, a little bit of garlic and some beer. Let that beer cook down a little bit. Gotta really watch it. But I guarantee you're gonna get some serious flavor out of this. All right, as you can see, our beer's not really running anymore off of the side. That's our glaze. Just put it over the top of our steak, just like that. And now you've got a steak. We're gonna let this rest for a few moments. Now it's time to try it. Now that our steak is off the grill, same with our onions, mushrooms, and that garlic with the butter and beer. We're gonna let this rest for about 10 minutes because here's what's going on. Once you remove that steak from the heat source, it's still gonna cook for about five to 10 minutes. This is called letting it rest. That's exactly what we're gonna do. And after that, well, we're gonna sink our teeth into this bad boy. Oi mate, welcome to Adunarino's Bar and Grill. What can I get you? I wanna try Patty Joe beer. I hear it's great. 
One Patty Joe beer coming up. Do you have it low carb? What do you mean you want it low carb? No, yeah, I'll make it low carb for you. I'll get you a low carb, yeah. There you go, Patty Joe beer is now low carb. Enjoy, Meg. Well, I guess it's low carb. <laughs> All right, thanks. The next time you want to get Schindler's or just piss drunk, grab a Patty Joe beer. Patty Joe beer, the best beer on YouTube. Oi! You saw how we did this ribeye. We got it up to about 130, 135. We removed it and let it rest for 10 minutes. In the meantime, we took care of our onions, mushroom, garlic, butter, beer, made it into a glaze, put it on top of this. The aroma in here is absolutely amazing. I gotta try this. I wanna take a look at it first. It's got great color. Mm. That's got two thumbs up written all over it. It's got five white Ukrainians written all over it. This is one of the best steaks I've ever had. Seriously, that Patty Joe beer glaze on here perfectly complements that ribeye. I can still taste the ribeye when I bite into this, but I get a little bit of spice, and I think that's from our Uncle Steve's Lucky Shake. But I'm telling you, this stuff is the bomb. Saw how we made it? Thanks guys for watching. If you make it, tell me how it goes. Talk to you later. Peace.